It's beer o'clock on Relo Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer called Gavroche, a fermentation hoit. It's a specialite beer. Beer Salie from Brasserie de Saint Sylvestre, Flandre. 8.5% ABV. I hope you can pronounce it better than I can. Or comment in the comments box just how badly I pronounce this beer. I do apologise. There's the bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Loads of smoke on the opening. This beer is going to come out of the top. Gonna be very careful pouring this beer. Wow, look at this. Lovely golden amber beer developing in the glass. I'm gonna see if it's bottle condition. We're gonna give that a little, just to show you the, well, actually no, I've changed my mind. We'll leave that for later. Only because that is such a pretty glass of beer. Look at that. Nice levels of carbonation. A deep amber kind of stroke mahogany colour beer. So two fingers slightly off white head. Nice carbonation rising from the bottom of the glass. At this stage of the review, I'd like to thank our channel sponsors, Beers of Europe.co.uk for sending the beer. Beers of Europe.co.uk are the largest online beer store in the UK where you can get great beer from all over the world. So if you've been working away, you want to try some great beer from where you've been working. Back home in the UK, the best place to try it is beersofeurope.co.uk. So this Belgian beer is from them. Let's uh, check out the aroma. Mmm. This has got more of a nutty aroma to the beer. More of a multi-building Slightly roasted malt feel to the beer. A little bit of kind of like cherry wood aroma there. I'm not sure if the beer has been aged in barrels. It kind of, it does smell a little bit like that. Mm. But a very, very nutty, bready stroke Belgium yeast style beer. Let's dive in. Cheers. Mm. Yeah, and true to the taste. At 8.5% ABV, this beer tastes a little bit like a German Doppelbock, if I'm completely honest. It's more, it's got a lot more carbonation going on than a, than a German style Doppelbock. It's really kind of busy and hissy on the tongue. But when that dissipates, when that goes away a little bit, you're left with a nutty, brown ale, biscuity, malty, chewy kind of beer. Just like a German Doppelbock. But, with a little bit of that lovely Belgium yeast coming through. But that comes through at the start. As soon as I mentioned that, it just got completely pushed out and bowled over by them big malty flavours. It's a lovely clean taste, a crisp taste. A very drinkable, refreshing beer. And as you imagine, if you add all of that together, the fact that it's so refreshing and clean and crisp, then you look at the malt, that lovely bready, kind of Doppelbock style flavour to the beer. Biscuity, nutty, bready. A little bit of kind of freshly toasted, freshly baked bread aroma going on. 
and that little bit of Belgium yeast and the carbonation, if you add all of that together, it adds up to a very complex beer, but a very tasty, enjoyable beer at that. Let's see if it's, it, it's definitely saying uh, fermentation height, which fermentation, normally if you're going to write that on the bottle, it's going to be a bottle conditioned beer. So, it's dirtied the beer up a little bit, but it's a, it's a remarkably clean yeast, if there is any yeast in there at all. You can't see it, but I mean, you, you can see the difference in the colour. Let's give this a taste. touch more banana, a touch more candied fruit in there from the yeast. But yeah, another great beer from another great Belgian brewery. I like the, just one more thing before I rate the beer, I like that that neck on the, on the bottle, it's a nice style, it's a nice touch. And the beers, the bottles have Brasserie de Saint Sylvester written on them. There you go. So you, you feel like there's a lot of heritage here. You feel like that this beer, this, this company has been in, in operation for a long time. And it's me saying it's a Belgian beer. It's not, it's not a Belgian beer at all. Pardon me. It's a product of France. There we go. There's me kind of singing the praises of um, Belgium and of course there's a French a typical French classic dress on the label there too I, I just completely missed that okay uh, let's just rate the beer Gavroche Fermentation Hoot, it's a lovely beer, lovely beer, a beer that I could sit and enjoy for a long time. I'm wondering, with France and Germany being on the borders together, is this kind of closer to the German border and is the German brewing style kind of influence the French a little bit here with this beer because it tastes very much like a Doppelbock. It's a very good beer. It's worth um, it's worth an eight out of ten. It's an eight out of ten from Real Low Craft Beer. Put your comments in the comments box. Check out beersviewed.co.uk. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.